Scandalous rumors flew almost immediately after this celebrity chef announced a separation from her husband. But the answer to why this power couple called it quits might be simpler than you think. Let's dig into some of the theories about Giada De Laurentiis and Todd Thompson's divorce. You have gone through a tough time recently, a public divorce, and oh, just so, start out just right. Out. I have, but yeah, I, I got it. You know why? Because it's nice to see no, you, Giada. Sometimes celebrities offer insight into their relationships during happier times that may later offer the public clues about their struggles. Back in 2009, De Laurentiis told Redbook that her marriage worked because she and Thompson took turns in the limelight. She explained, In the beginning, I was there to help him in his career. Now he's where he wants to be and he helps me in mine. You know, most men want to be in the limelight and have the woman take care of them. There have to be times where it's about Todd, when I'm Todd's wife, and that's just who I am at that moment. De Laurentiis went on to become the more recognizable name of the pair, so somewhere between 2009 and 2014. It's possible that the balance shifted too much toward Thompson supporting her career, with his own as a designer being pushed aside. That's just speculation, of course, but it wouldn't be the first time that the uglier side of fame snuck into a marriage and cracked its foundation. De Laurentiis told Redbook that her brother losing his battle to skin cancer is what made her decide to become a parent. She said, He always wanted to have children, but he didn't get to. And after he died, I remember thinking, You know, maybe there's a place in my heart for someone else other than all the people I already have in my life. But the decision to have her daughter wasn't initially an easy one for De Laurentiis to make. She admitted, I know I was very afraid. My brother's passing made me afraid. I think because I was afraid that we could have a child and lose him or her too. I didn't know if I could go through that kind of pain with anybody else the way I did with my brother. So for a while, I was very down on the whole idea. Thompson and De Laurentiis have always been devoted parents to their daughter Jade. But De Laurentiis has also been open about how tough it is to juggle her grueling celebrity schedule with parenting. She told The Cut in 2018 that she realized years prior, If I continue this, I will not see Jade grow up. Is it possible that Thompson wanted more kids and De Laurentiis was already spread too thin both personally and professionally? When considering who else may have played a part in De Laurentiis' divorce, the first person that probably comes to mind is fellow celebrity chef and TV personality Bobby Flay. According to Page Six, De Laurentiis was seen having what the tab described as a boozy night out with Flay, just two days before she announced her split from Thompson on Facebook. A few months after that, Flay announced his split from his then-wife of 10 years, actress Stephanie March. Several months later, Radar Online claimed that Flay and De Laurentiis were caught on an intimate dinner date, expressing PDA, and carving their initials into a secret spot on the wall, while in the middle of divorcing their respective spouses. Both De Laurentiis's and Flay's reps denied the claims, telling E! News in a statement. Back in December, Giada had dinner with her agent. Bobby Flay was also having dinner with some friends and dropped by Giada's table to say hi. They did not have dinner, nor was there any touching going on. Closer Weekly reported that rumors of a relationship with former Today anchor Matt Lauer started in 2011, when the pair were filming a segment for NBC. In 2013, a dinner meeting between the two was described as cozy by Page Six, but both camps said any allegations of a romantic dinner were false. De Laurentiis is also one of many high-profile women to be romantically linked with musician John Mayer. But HuffPost reported that the chef denied any of the alleged affairs, saying, I met him twice at least five or six years ago at public events, along with hundreds of other people. I have not seen or even heard from him since. She also addressed her longtime friendships with Lauer and Flay, saying, There has never been a romantic relationship with these two men. Even though De Laurentiis adamantly denied any infidelity and claimed that Thompson was with her the whole weekend she attended the events where she met Mayer, she still acknowledged that the accusations took a toll on her marriage. She told Redbook in 2011, Todd was embarrassed that his family in Michigan would see it and think, what is going on over there in Hollywood? It's not the juiciest explanation, but maybe the flame between the former spouses just burned out.
Okay. And so I was trying to figure out like, okay, what does this mean now? Because we're identified a lot of times by Absolutely. being married. De Laurentiis and Thompson had been together since she was 18 and began the process of separating when she was nearly 44. De Laurentiis went from being a broke college student to an A-list celebrity over the course of her marriage to Thompson, which was a trajectory neither of them anticipated. In fact, while speaking with Redbook in 2009, De Laurentiis shared the couple's dreams, saying, Todd and I have talked about living in Paris or Rome. I didn't plan on having this career, I just rode the wave. And now I'm contemplating where it leads. Just two years later, she told the same outlet, When I'm home, I work very hard to be Todd's wife and Jade's mother. I have no problem going back to those traditional roles. I try to be Giada, the young girl that he met 20 years ago and fell in love with. Is it possible that they were just unable to maintain this traditional dynamic? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.